Hello, my name is Joshua Tucker. I'm the lead test engineer here at Gateway Materials Test Center. Today I want to tell you a little bit about ASTM C297, which is the standard test method for the ultimate tensile strength properties of sandwich construction materials. So today I'm going to walk you through the tests that we perform here. I'm going to show you the specimens. I'm going to show you how we condition them, measure them, get them ready for testing, and then show you a little bit about how we present the results to the customer. So let's get started. All right, so here we are in one of our preparation rooms, one of our specimen preparation rooms, and there's a lot of steps that have to occur before we get to this point, depending upon what type of material we're testing here. Now, for these purposes, I'm showing you a balsa core with a fiberglass lamination on both sides, so it's a sandwich composite. So we actually create these panels here in-house. We can lay these up and flow them via Vardum, vacuum-assisted resin transfer. Um, and cut them also here in-house. We have a miter saw and table saw where we can get through all those processes done. But for this purposes of this video, I'm just gonna tell you about the testing. So once we have our specimens or our panel created in the oven, you know, and laid up and post-cured, we've cut it, now we're here and we're going to measure. So since this specimen has uneven surfaces on both sides because of the fiberglass, we will use a ball end micrometer to do the thickness measurements throughout. We'll do like three thickness measurements per specimen and get an average. That way we have a really good and accurate uh, dimension there. And then we just do the basics with an anvil type vernier caliper and just do our width and our depth. We'll record all these values for all of our specimens and then we will label them and get ready to glue up our fixture blocks on them to make it look like this. So in doing this, you have to make sure that you have an adhesive that's strong enough to handle your specimen. This adhesive right here is DP460. It's a very, very strong glue and it's very necessary with these specimens because this balsa core is extremely strong. So for this test, we actually have to prep our blocks by grinding them and etching them and making sure they're entirely clean and uh, being, um, just making sure we have a really good bond by putting a good compression on these during the, uh, the set. So once it's all set up, we let these set for 24 hours. That's, for, that's per the specification of the DP460. And um, then we get ready to test. So this specimen right here, this block is ready to test. So we're gonna go over here to our machine and we're gonna show you how it's done. Okay, so we are now finally ready to perform our test. So we have our specimen here after all the preparation we've went through, we have a label on our specimen. We have all the dimensions, all the, the thickness, the width and the depth. Um, we have a gauge length. The gauge length here is just gonna be the thickness of the specimen. Now this ASTM only asks for you to report the ultimate strength of the specimen, which is going to be the force divided by the cross-sectional area in the horizontal plane, so the width times the thickness. So the force divided by that area will give you your ultimate strength. And that's all that the ASTM actually asks you to report. But if you want to go a few more steps, you can. Uh, you can, uh, we also will report modulus. Sometimes we will use an LVDT that we will attach to our fixture here so we can get a very, very accurate strain reading. And we'll, um, we'll report the strain at break and the modulus of the specimen. So, as you can see, we're using an Instron 3384R uh, uh, testing machine, static testing machine. We have a 11,000 pound load cell on it here. All have been calibrated here in-house. We can do our own calibrations as well. So, now we have the specimen set up in our fixture. We can put our pins in. We'll put a little bit of preload on the specimen. Wiggle it out a little bit. Now we're ready. I've got roughly two pounds on the specimen. Now I'm gonna zero my gauge length and we're gonna go ahead and start this test. Here we go. All right, so that was exciting. We had a good break there. As you can see, the specimen broke well. 
Now it looks like there's a flat surface here, but this, but this is bare balsa. This was a sandwich composite, so it had fiberglass facings on both sides. So this still broke within the specimen. We just broke at the bond area between the laminate and the core. But all things considered, this is a great test. We break it, broke it good. We have a stress of 6.56 megapascals, which is above the standard that we're looking for. So we are good to go here. Um, thank you for tuning in. And if you or your company has any desire to have this sort of test or testing like this done, please give us a call here at Gateway Materials Test Center. The phone number is 336-217-5185. Thank you.